Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to be talking about the future of the Philadelphia Eagles because after last week's loss to the Redskins, the Eagles were pretty much knocked out of the playoff picture. Now technically we are still alive, but realistically our season's pretty much over. We're not making the playoffs. So I thought I would just talk about the Eagles. It sounded kind of fun. Maybe the future of the Eagles a little bit. And for right now, I'd actually say that the Eagles are a slightly above average team when all players are healthy and not suspended. And the first four weeks, we had actually one of the best O-lines in the NFL. But once Lane Johnson got suspended, that entirely fell apart. We have a great front seven on defense, and Carson Wentz is actually showing that he can be a top-level quarterback. So there is a lot of hope for the future of the Eagles. But the biggest problem the Eagles face is our weak secondary, particularly at the cornerback position, and our really weak wide receivers. I would also add that our run game is pretty weak, but it's not nearly as big a problem as the cornerbacks or wide receivers. I mean, we have four running backs, and we still don't know who our number one guy is, so it's kind of weak. <laughs> but like I said, it's not nearly as big a problem as cornerback or wide receiver. But there is actually a pretty big debate going on right now amongst Eagles fans on whether we should draft receivers or pick them up in free agency. I personally would throw my vote for getting them in free agency because you kind of know what you get. You know that they've played against a pro defense. You kind of have an understanding of what you get with them. But with players coming out of college, you really don't know how well they'll do against a pro defense. So I'm a little hesitant to draft a receiver, especially after Nelson Aguilar. I mean, if you look at his college statistics, in 2014, 104 receptions. 1,313 yards, 12 touchdowns, 2 punt returns for a touchdown. Those stats are pretty great, but after, you know, what we've seen, eh, kind of a flop. So I'm a little more leaning towards free agency. Now looking at the draft, we got a couple of our picks back from the Sam Bradford trade and potentially one more from the Eric Rowe trade. But for right now, we have 8 guaranteed picks and a potential ninth pick, which would be a 3rd round pick for this upcoming draft. And looking at the college players this year, I think we could actually get some pretty big playmakers. Our first round pick is probably the most vital pick this year. And uh, the big question, do we do cornerback or receiver? I personally like cornerback because I think Jalen Tabor from Florida is going to be a huge pickup for the Eagles. But there are a lot of fans out there that are saying we should go with a receiver like Mike Williams from Clemson. He's pretty impressive too, I'm not going to lie. He's His uh, career in college was much more um, uh, consistent than Nelson Aguilar's was, so I'm less inclined to think he would flop. However, I, th I still you know, agree with what I said earlier about going into free agency. I don't take that back. So I really like Jalen Tabor, and I think that would be awesome. However, I do like both players, and I would be happy with either player coming to the Eagles. But, you know, defense wins championships, and there are a ton of great receivers in free agency, so I think it would just be better for us to uh, pass on a receiver early on in the draft. Speaking of free agency, uh, it's no secret that the Eagles have their eyes on two big names, Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson. Personally, I think Alshon has much more potential, but, you know, we've had Deshaun Jackson before, and... All the rumors are saying that he's almost guaranteed coming back to the Eagles because Chip Kelly's gone and he never really wanted to leave. And I think pinking up Deshaun Jackson would be great. Uh, he's not going to be the same guy that played for the Eagles before. He's older, he's injury prone, and that is sort of risky, especially because if he came, he would instantly become our number one receiver. Um, he's way better than Jordan Matthews, Nelson Aguilar, Doriel Green Beckham. He'd instantly be number one, and that is a little scary to have your number one receiver be injury prone. But other than that, I think it would be a very good pickup. I'm very in favor of that. I knew this wasn't going to be a good year for the Eagles because they were moving, you know, last year's remnants of the Chip Kelly era, which puts us into a rebuilding stage. So I came into the season knowing that we were going to rebuild, and I kept my expectations low. But what I saw this year definitely gives me a ton of hope for the future. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more Eagles videos like this in the future. I am Motionless Gaming, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.